Here we are inside of Flex Builder, and if this is the first time you've opened it, you'll be presented with this Flex Start page, and this has some additional information that you can read up uh, on another time. For now, let's go ahead and close this, and if you want to see that again, you can always click Help and Flex Start page. For now, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to create a new project, click File, New, and we want Flex Project. Now we want to give our Flex Project a name, and you can give it a name starting with an underscore or with a letter, and there's no spaces allowed in the name itself. So for this one, I'm going to start with an underscore, a one, underscore, hello world. And again, I'm just doing this to keep my projects organized. You don't have to do this exactly, but that's what I'm doing for this tutorial. We want to keep these settings as they are. Notice that it should be web application is selected. And then we'll go ahead and click finish. Now, Flex Builder is creating all the folders and files we need for this application. So we have over here the Hello World project folder. And below that are folders and files that were created for us to run this. This hello world.mxml is the file that's open right here. And this is the root file for this application. In fact, this has everything we need to run in a browser. We can test that by going over here and clicking this run button. And it will launch the browser. And there's your first flex application. Isn't that sweet? Oh, you don't see that? Well, okay, there's really nothing there, but it is a Swift playing in a browser. You can do, you can tell by right-clicking, you see the uh, Flash Player settings. Okay, so really we want to add something to this. Of course, there's nothing on the screen. We'll fix that. Go ahead and close the browser. Now we're back in Flex Builder. And notice we have this source button and a design button. Go ahead and click the design button. And the layout changes. And we're presented with this kind of a stage area. And this is the actual background color that we saw in the browser. Over here on the right, we have a few new panels. We have a flex properties panel. And then over here on the left, on the bottom, we have this components panel. And inside of here are all the available components that are built in to Flex Builder. We'll cover a few of these. And so for now, let's just go ahead and if it's not already open, make sure that the controls folder is open. We want to click and drag the button to the stage. Now notice when I'm I'm still holding my mouse button down and we have an outline of the button. As I move to the sides or the center, we get some of these guidelines that kind of give us a sense of where the margins are or where the center point is. For now, just go ahead and drop it in the center. We let go, and here we have a button on the stage. Now, this is a default button, and we can change the properties of it. If we look over here under Flex Properties, notice that this button is selected, and here we have properties for the button. Notice we have a label, and let's change this label. Let's call it Click Me. You can press Return or Enter on the keyboard, and it updates it right there. So let's go ahead and test this. Go up to the Run button. Now we have this dialog. Notice it says Save and Launch. And basically, we had modified this file. So it wants to, it's asking us, do we want to save this? And we say yes. We click OK. But also notice it says Always Save Resources Before Launching. Go ahead and check that. Because every time we run the program, we don't want to be presented with this dialog. Just go ahead and click OK. Now it launches in the browser, and there's our button. See? Isn't that cool? See, it's getting better, right? You can see how we're progressing here. This is, this is what it's all about. Okay, if I click the button, nothing happens. And the reason for that is we haven't given the button any actions, anything to do. Notice that there are some behaviors that are built in. I have a rollover state. If I mouse over the button, notice it has a highlight and it has kind of a blue outline. If I click and hold, notice it has a down state to the button, kind of this green highlight. These are built-in behaviors, and this is all customizable. We'll talk about that later, but for now, go ahead and close the browser. And let's give 
Let's put another component on the stage. Come over to the components tab and scroll down and we want to put a text area. Click and drag the text area and let's just place it centered above the button. So we have this text area and notice there are controls around it and these controls allow me to resize a button. It even gives me a little uh, 198 by 101, kind of gives us some general, uh, it tells you exactly the size you're looking at. Notice that when I get close to this other button, it kind of has a snap to guide. These are some general layout things that you can use. Notice we have the text area selected. If we look at the flex properties and I scroll down, we see these values right here, the width and the height. And these directly relate to what we see on the stage. So if I change this to say 100, and then I change this to 100, press enter, notice it changed the size of the text area for us. Uh, I can go ahead and move it like this within this stage area and resize it as well. So there's a couple of options of how to change it. Let's go ahead and click over to the source view and notice what's happened. Originally we had this application tag and now we have two more lines of code. These lines of code directly relate to the components that we just added to the stage. So there's the button that we added and there's the text area that we added. Also notice the properties that we have here. We have an X value and a Y value as well as a width and a height. Notice that these numbers relate exactly to what we had over here. If I click back to design and I scroll down, notice here's the width and height. Again, you see how we can change the properties here, or we could go over here and change the properties here. For example, I could change this to 150 and change this to 110. Now when I click back over to design, notice that the size has changed and it's updated accordingly. So, there's a direct relationship between the design view and the source view. Let's go ahead and test this and see what we have. If I click the run button, we see this in the browser and there's our text area and our button. Again, nothing happens. A text area by default allows you to enter text. So you can say, hi, I'm Flex. Nice to meet you. Anyway, a text area has a few default attributes that go along with it. Let's go ahead and close the browser and click over to design view. And in order to get the button and text area to